What is up, YouTube? This is SC9, and welcome back to Freedom Planet. And now we are, um, well, basically, we got arrested because, um, Magister thought that we were, like, lying to him about the whole Lord Brevin part. And now we are running away. And that's about it. So, um, basically, this is, um, I don't even remember. Trade, this is Trade Creek, which is pretty easy until you get to the actual fight at this stage. I.e. the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? I'm talking about once you get to the, um, what's her name? I keep forgetting her name, I'll remember it eventually. Okay, so I just remembered what exactly what her name is. Her name is Nero. Um, oh yeah, sure, we're being chased by the police here, too. Because police are doing their job. Oh, those bu these bubbles right here. Um, what they do is they basically bounce a whole lot. And they will actually bounce me around. Right here would be a car, but I already collected it. This is a bubble shield. Everyone knows what bubble shields do in video games. Keep you from drowning while underwater because reasons. Now these enemies right here, these little uh, ball-like enemies, they're extremely annoying. Not in this stage, but when you get to the actual final Dreadnought stage, which is by the end of the game, they get super annoying, like, to the point where you don't even want to, like, actually, like, basically, they just, they're just in the way a lot. They really just serve as obstacles. I don't think, I think that's an example of an enemy that you can't kill by like invisibility shield. Invisibility shield up here. Get these, um, dandelions. Now, later on, there's another stage that um, is exclusive to only Lilac, and it's a little annoying, most because it's most, most because it feels like a maze, and I just messed that up completely. I do want that health over there for the actual fight, because the fight is coming up in a second. Take the shield. Oh, it's a health shield, sweet. Oh, but I didn't go over the health shield yet. What it does is it attracts any health towards me. And, um, yeah, here's it. So, this is basically, like, the, the lead-up to it. I'm gonna try to... Oh, well, I lost the shield, but at least I didn't lose health. Then she's gonna come in from here. Basically, the best thing to do here is that you just want to jump behind her, because then every after every like, few times you hit her, she'll launch another few um spike bombs. So you want to jump over her, basically, because the um the blades are programmed to go up after. They hit a wall every time. So she's gonna do that. I'm gonna go do this. She should jump over here in a minute. Or not. Ah, damn it. That was a mess up. I didn't even realize how much health I had left. I just let her hit me there. There she is. Done. Just like that. And she gets taken back. Ow. I wasn't looking there. Basically, Nira is... Uh, she's a panda. As mentioned in the last, um, video. And, um, like, because of the cutscene. She is a panda. Because Chinese culture, like I said before. And she's also... Nira... Oh, sorry. Yeah, Nira the... The, um... Uh, hold on a sec. So it's Nero the Ice Knight. That's her name. Saying it's a little odd. Oh boy. Well, um, basically, I gotta do some stuff. Oh, I'm just waiting for the water to rise. So I believe this is just a regular shield here. It doesn't do anything special, it's just a normal shield. Keep taking more of that. More of that stuff. Move my mic down a little bit because I keep forgetting to do that. Literally every video I keep forgetting to do it because I move it far away from me so I don't hurt my friend's ears on Discord. Oh yeah, that's right. This is gonna be the um the second Serpentine fight, which is incredibly easy and just a joke as Carol. This fight is a joke as Carol. I did it my first try. I just spam the. Hold on. I just spammed like 
the um, the motorcycle flip over and over again. So once again, we have another fight with Serpentine. Oh boy. Oh, we're gonna do this again. And that's why that's one of his more annoying attacks. You get caught in it in case of a lot of hell. I didn't even really get caught up in that one. So he's probably gonna do it. Well, I'm gonna die, just so you know. See, it's basically just like, um. So now what he's gonna do is gonna send these Call of Duty Nibbas after us. That's what, yes, that's what I nicknamed them. They're just kind of annoying and infuriating in general to fight. So I'm probably gonna die to one of these guys. If I'm gonna die, it's definitely gonna be one of these guys. So now, the rest of the fight is kind of easy. Just spam Cyclone here. Now, Mila comes in and she protects me, but I got hit while I was landing, so that wasted all. Oh, Hold a few seconds, so give me a second. So now he's almost dead. And there he goes. Oh, Carol finished the job. Good job, Carol. Sweet, bro. For this, we should go home. So that's it. We just leave and let Torque die. What are we supposed to do? I like Torque, but this is so much bigger than us. We're just kids. That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything. Look at what they did to me, to us. Sometimes I feel like you're trying to get us killed. How can you say that? I put myself out there on the front line so you don't have to! Yeah, and I always have to bail you out. What's the problem with that? We're helping each other do the right thing. But I don't want to do the right thing! I just want to spend time with my best friend! If the only way I can do that is by risking my life, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Carol... Don't! Just don't. I'm done. It's okay. I'm going after him. Alone. Let me come with you. No. Carol's right. Friends shouldn't let each other get hurt. You should stay behind with her. Mila, stay here. I won't leave you. We are now in Terminal Base, which is basically like a pre-version of um, Final Dreadnought. Final Dreadnought is nothing like this, of course, because Final Dreadnought is a ship. But here's an example of the Cod Nibbers. There's a lot of them. Final Dreadnought, there's nothing but mostly them. Like, 80... Ow. 80% of the enemies in Final Dreadnought are, like those enemies. A lot of them are those characters. So we also need um key cards too, right here. So there's doors that require key cards. No thank you, Syntax. There's that green key card but it's blocked off because we have to kill all the enemies in this area. Or should I say this one enemy. It's a little mini boss here. Easy. 
so now we can go get that key card because those um, barriers are gone, which means now we can go back. Put it down, open this door. Now at first these areas seem a little annoying, ow. Well, this area seems annoying. Most because I just got hit by a part that I shouldn't have gotten hit, but whatever. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just go up here. See, the problem with the um, these guys, with the gunners, is that is the problem with them is that they'll follow you like almost until they can't follow you. So they go out of their way to follow you, but the problem is the reason they're annoying the fights because they have quite a bit of health actually, and they do almost a, a full leap of damage when they actually do hit you. Which is gonna be very often. You're gonna be seeing this. You're gonna be seeing me getting attacked by those guys and maybe even killed by them a lot in this playthrough. It's def. Oh my god. It's definitely gonna be way more often though as uh, as the other characters because I'm not as good as them as I am with my, as I am with Lila. Mila, I'm the worst with. I'm the worst as her. But I had like 130 set out. 137 deaths is Carol, which is a little sad. Here. Don't fall down that. I do have a key card, which is for this door here. There we go. Now we can move on. Now this room especially is full of a lot of them. If they see you, they're gonna chase you for a while. Now, not the same. They're not gonna chase you for the entire stage. But they will chase you for a good while. At least until they lose you, or until you go into a different area. Right here, there's two of them. They didn't see me because they're blind. So I'm not really sure how they didn't see me. We gotta do is you have to hit this guy back. And hit there so we can blow him up. Ow, that hurt. That hurt too. That's a fire shield down there, and I want it. Oh my god, that is slightly annoying. Here. There are two. Is that a card? Oh, I already collected that card. So we're gonna do. Open these two doors. I want that. Yeah, Syntax basically to um, go ahead and um, just kind of go ahead and trick you there into thinking that's going to open the door, but it's just an explosive. So these enemies, depending on who you're playing on, these guys are annoying. You don't need to kill them, it's completely optional. I usually don't kill them because it saves on time and health. So I usually just hit them until they drop that key card, and then they just run away and go open the door. I usually would fight them, but most of the time I don't fight them. Like 99% of the time, there's always gonna be that 1% where I'm not gonna, where I'm gonna be all like, I'm feeling generous, I'm not gonna fight him, or I'm feeling generous, I'm gonna fight him, or whatever. So, anyways, here's the um, syntax. This is the syntax mini buyoff. Some um, very recognizable pattern. Just see, uh, she's gonna get lava thrown into her claw thing. And then she's gonna send it back at me. Every other time the lava comes, she sends it back the second she gets it. She only shoots the lava when she's on the spikes. I need to be quiet. There we go. Now here's her second stage. Which is really easy, actually. So now we have lava coming at us, and it's gonna. 
take our kids. It's gonna try to steal our beans. We don't want that. There's lava. And this should be the end of the stage, or at least almost the end of the stage. I think it's. Oh, wait, no, we're not there yet. This is actually a really long stage. I like terminal base in the um, final dreadnought because of the mechanics they have in them with the key cards. I do like that a lot. Here, yeah. Now the thing about terminal base is that. Oh wait, why am I still talking about terminal base? If anything, I should be talking about upcoming things uh, in general. I'm just trying to come up with things to talk about because I haven't really much to talk about at all. Get hit here. Get hit there. Water. So now we're gonna go and lower the water level for this area, that way we can keep her to progress. I keep thinking that's a pathway. Basically, we need to lower the water level, that way we can get down here. For some reason, we need to do that. Let me go over here. Let me follow the water. Need water! And then we go and kill these guys, and we really need to kill them. Now, those motherfuckers right there. These things are gonna kill you in one shot. Guaranteed. Doesn't matter who you're playing as, how much health you have, it's gonna kill you in one shot. And they are actually kind of dangerous. By kind of dangerous, I mean very dangerous. And see what I mean? That was a one shot. Um, that's a one shot. Upgrade. So this is an easier way up. It's not as dangerous. You don't gotta worry about getting crushed. I'm gonna we'll take up there. I said we're gonna go up there. No, I told you we're gonna go up there. Thank you. Go up here. And now we have a Call of Duty boy. The Adventures of Call of Duty boy. Oh yes, it's the incineration boss. It's another phase of Syntax. You fight Syntax three times in this whole game. The first the first time you fight her is kind of the mini boss. This is an actual boss which is very easy. Which is very easy. Hey, I forgot this get hot. So basically what Syntax here does is that she'll turn into a ball later on. She sends up spike balls from the actual lava from beneath, and then she can heat up platforms that you're standing on, just simply by being there. And the best strategy to do is just to sit up here and wait for her to come up here, because you can get the most hits off of her. Right there, see, I already got it done. There. She's throwing up some spike balls. You can't really see them because they're off screen. Oh wait, she's that giant ball now. Making it off the middle. Yeah. That giant ball is actually really dangerous. It does a lot. I think it does like two leaves, two, two full leaves of damage, I'm pretty sure. Are fine. Come on, this boss is supposed to be going by much quicker. 
I was playing as Carol and Mila, you but you went easy on me. Thank you. And by syntax. For now. Like it's payback time. Let him go! Or else what? Remember what happened the last time you messed with a dragon? Let him go! <laughs> Good girl! I want you to be nice and angry for this! Before you decided to throw your life away and interfere with our mission, you should have asked yourself one very important question. What makes you so special? Why do you fight? I know you're awake. Answer the question. Why do you fight? For my friends. I'll do whatever it takes to keep them safe from freaks like you! <laughs> keep them safe. Every move you've made has put them directly in harm's way. Destroying our property, assisting our sworn enemies, attempting sabotage against our mission, which, by the way, has nothing to do with your world. We are leaving this barbaric planet behind as soon as our ship is repaired. You forgot the part where you took our kingdom stone, where you ruined years of peace between my people and put thousands in danger. An unfortunate side effect, yes. But I wouldn't have resorted to such drastic measures if you had the common sense to stay out of our affairs. Thanks to you, your companions are in more danger than ever. <laughs> Allow me to show you the consequences of your stupidity. Lilac! I had to do something! Answers, Commander. Give them to me. Don't be a fool. You've seen how far I'll go to get the information I need. Don't tell him anything! Very well. Don't say I didn't warn you. I was more interested in your resolve. You crack easily, it seems. And this one. I have a funny feeling about you. I'll bet I could hack at your limbs all day and you'd still find a way to bite back. I'll do more than that, you monster! When we've lured the rest of your group into our hands, you'll be at the top of our execution list. Sir, the chasers are within visual range. Let's see what they're made of. Lilac! I'm sorry I ran off without you. I'll never do it again! <coughs> we gotta leave! Now! You know, it was so smart of your coalition to attack my ship above an inhabited planet. Whatever happened to that prime directive of yours? You think you're some blameless force of nature, don't you? That the rules don't apply to you! It's my world on the line. You know exactly how far I'll go to ensure its safety. Your world is in danger because of the suffering you caused to the other worlds! My actions have hurt people? I had no idea. I'm dreadfully sorry. Really? He's lying! I have a lot of work to do, so let's make this quick. Kill them. <laughs> 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 
There are two ways we can do this, dragon, and you're only conscious in one of them. Do what you have to do. Once again, you have deceived us. Do you realize what this means? If it makes any difference, Your Excellency, I'm deeply sorry. It means that I have been foolish. We examined the fragment your commander gave us. Does that mean that you'll help? There is something you must do for us first. A mission, if you will. Accept, and we will restore your strength. Succeed, and we will restore your honor. Th thank you, Your Excellency. fragment your commander gave us is indeed crafted from a rare mineral. But we've discovered it before, in one other location. Why haven't you dug it up by now? We feared that it was radioactive. Now that we've studied it in person, we know that it is safe enough to investigate. This could provide the answers we seek. Why the invaders know of our world. And more importantly, how to defeat them. Get in there. Find what you can, and leave. Do it as quickly as possible. I won't fail you! Oh shit. Oh, I made a mistake there. Okay, so basically, that is um, going to be the end of this video. I'll see you guys later. And we'll be doing... Um, I, I, I don't remember the, I don't remember half the names of any of the stages in this game, but I'll see you later anyway.